along with the development of science and technology, some individuals are no longer satisfied with humans' physical frame. They desire to gain more senses and abilities by combining modern technology and electronics with their bodies as upgrades. Cyborg is an unfamiliar term in the general public size, but could it be the next stage of humans' evolution? Yes. Using technological advanced materials to reinforce human body could very likely be the future. Neil Harbison is one of the individuals who already took this step. Neil is an artist who suffered from Daltonism. My name is Neil Harbison, and I was born with a rare visual condition called achromatopsia. Because I come from a great scale world, which is total colorblindness. So I've never seen color and I don't know what color looks like. To me, the sky is always gray, the, the grass is always gray, and television is still in black and white. Since the age of 21, I can hear color. Concerts are a colorful experience and art galleries a musical experience. You know, this antenna allows me to hear the colors in front of me. Light sensor that detects the frequency of the color, and then it sends it to a chip, and then I hear the colors through bone conduction. I dress in a way that it sounds good, so I decide what notes I want to wear. Today, for example, I'm wearing F sharp and, and C sharp. Beauty depends on how good the face sounds. In this case, Neil Harbison uses technology to fix his congenital defect. But not only people with body defect, some normal humans are also trying to use technology to extend their senses. Neil Harbison's partner, Moon Rebus, is one of them. Moon is a cyber activist. An earthquake sensor was implanted into her elbow. Every time there's an earthquake anywhere on the planet, I feel a vibration inside my arm. Depending on the intensity of the earthquake, the vibration I will feel will be stronger or weaker. My artwork is happening inside my body. I'm the only one who perceives. So in order to share my experience, I create external artwork related to my new sense. For us, the important thing is to change our perception and to, to treat our brain as, as a sculpture. Like if you modify your perception in long term, you also modify your brain and your mind. Moon Rebus is an artist who performs dances according to the Earth movement. She dances according to the amplitude and frequency of the vibrator, which is connected to the internet to receive live movement from the Earth. Moon believes this is a new sense that can help her to perceive more about the nature. And new senses of the human body will allow us to rediscover the planet we live in. Another artist who commits himself into a redesigned human body is Stark. Stark is an Australian performance artist. He believes that the human body is ready obsolete. The body lack of modular design and it is biologically inadequate. One of his most famous artwork is the third air. In 2006, he inserted a biocompatible scaffold into his arm. And this led to the growth of the third air on his arm. Well, the idea of redesigning the body is, is um is something that's come out from the perceived inadequacies um, in interacting with technology. So um, for me, it's not an issue of utilitarian improvement of the body, but rather uh, exploring alternate anatomical architectures. It's not about any eugenic concerns or improvements of the body as such, but rather experimenting and exploring with different ways of, of uh, operating and becoming aware in the world. However, everything has both sides. As a creative idea in the trend of future, Many movies and games have the elements of cyber. On one hand, in the game Fallout 4, in order to avoid radiation, 
Some people use technology to reform themselves. However, it led to skin rot, and they became necrotic post-human. In the movie RoboCop, after becoming cyborg, Alex Murphy has become the focus of the public. As a result, he lost his freedom and privacy. On the other hand, because of the technology transformation, human can survive in this world after a nuclear war. Moreover, although Alex lost his freedom, he was still alive after suffering a fatal explosion. Therefore, from these cases, technology transformation can bring more benefits to human beings. Becoming a cyborg may be the future of humanities. Are you ready to become a cyborg?